welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we'll be talking about something a little bit different, sports-related, but a little bit different. As you guys know, and if you guys follow my cousin Adam, you can find him over at Adam Steele. He posted a great video uh, reacting to his thoughts, and keep in mind, he covers the Steelers. Uh, so he posted a reaction video, um, his thoughts on the Devin Bush saga that's going on on uh, Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter I'll inform you that basically Devin Bush has kind of lost his mind on Twitter. He's been posting all sorts of stuff. We're not even going to get into all of that. Uh, we're not going to get into him posting a five-year-old video of a cat falling 30 feet and potentially dying when it hit the ground. We aren't going to talk about all that. And I'm obviously not going to show you that. Uh, what I will say is that he had an interesting uh, take on content creators. And I was a little surprised that he said this. Um, and this is going around, this is spreading like wildfire, essentially. I mean, I, I just, I cannot believe somebody like Devin Bush, who has the God-given talent, you know, who has the athleticism that none of us have, would shame people for trying to make ends meet, to try to, uh, not everybody's trying to go pro on, on YouTube, as you guys know, that's my, my mission here, but he's basically essentially shaming content creators, um, which is just wild to me. It, you know, it's uh, it's a shame because I do like Devin Bush, the player. And for you Rams fans that follow my channel, Devin Bush's father won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He was a defensive back. If you didn't know that, now you know that. But it's just very interesting um, that he would come out and, and he would say that. Now, look... I'm not going to lie. No one's perfect, right? No one. But it just, to me, to come out and to say that, you know, essentially telling people to quit, which, as you guys know, when I do my live streams, I'm not telling you guys to quit. I'm quite the opposite. I want to help people. You know, I have a goal in mind, sure, but I want to help people. And to see Devin Bush on July 3rd drop a tweet, see all these content creators with no more than 400 views, nah, you are a bored MF. That was really disappointing. I'm not entirely offended by it. I mean, it does affect me, um, as you guys know, because you guys are so awesome. Uh, I don't have, you know, a, a small viewership. Um, I'd still be doing these anyway. But, you know, there are people that do. And there are people that are trying to make it on here. And there are people that are putting their, their work in. They're working their tail off. And, you know, to have somebody who, you know, kind of has it all right now, telling them that they should essentially quit, you're going to get people that do quit because of that. But here comes the knight in shining armor. And I don't mean this in any sort of way other than giving this guy credit. And you guys might remember him. Rams fans definitely will remember him because I was raving about him in the draft. Uh, and that is Darrington Evans. Darrington Evans at It's Live with a Z after the IT. He said, even content creators have to crawl before they can walk G. If you're making content, let this motivate you and not put you down. I support you and will make it 401 views if you want. Be great. That's a leader right there. In a world when, I mean, I've talked to literally so many athletes at this point in my life in such a short amount of time this isn't to toot my own horn i've interviewed so many prospects i've interviewed so many players i've interviewed former players i've interviewed current and all of them really come off you know most of them at pretty much 99 percent of them were great right they, they they came off very polite humble but to see you know, Devin Bush do that, and then to see Darrington Evans, to me, that is the definition of a leader. That's a role model right there. Essentially, Darrington Evans sees this is an issue. He sees how this could offend people, and so he's coming out, and he's putting his money where his mouth is. He says, you know, basically, I'll make it 401. I'm going to view your videos, whatever. Well, Darrington blew up on, you, uh, on Twitter and Twitch, and he has a uh, a Discord channel that I have joined. It's now right now at 612 members. And just props to him, man, because 
that's that's what it's all about you know that's what it's all about you guys know how i am i want to engage with my audience darrington evans did this the right way and it's really cool to see somebody get it so what has he been doing well he's having all sorts of you know having all sorts of live streams and you know he's having all all these you know retweets and stuff and trying to help people look you can be an athlete and more than an athlete at the same time Darrington Evans is going to have an opportunity to be quite the piece on offense as a change of pace back behind Derrick Henry he has a chance to be a big time player and I think he will be someday but that doesn't make him any better than everyone else and he knows that Devin Bush he's potentially going to be a Super Bowl uh, you know superstar linebacker Devin Bush was in my top 100 list he was in my last video I think the world of him as a player and I feel bad that he got hurt but man that's not a good look and I just had to give props to Darrington Evans that's why I had to make this video it's not just to shame Devin Bush it's to give Darrington Evans some credit now I reached out to Devin Bush I asked him if he wanted to come on uh, the show. I basically said I have more than 400 views, kind of joking, um, and, you know, would love to have you on to discuss this. And he never got back to me, which, I mean, I don't blame him. But, you know, he failed to do that. Darrington Evans, he's been very interactive with the community. And it just, again, it shows you, you can be more than an athlete. Just because you're an athlete doesn't mean you have to view yourself as better than everyone else, even if you do. And... You know, this is the right way to handle it. And this is uh, when you have people looking up, you have younger kids looking up to these athletes. This is a guy that I would want. If I had a kid, this is who I'd want them looking up to because this is how you do it. This is this is it. This is the right way. And so Darrington Evans basically comes out. He drops another video. If you make content, let this motivate you. We want to support you. Send in your content, and let's support each other. There you go. I mean, I loved this guy in the draft. I wanted the Rams to draft him badly. Now I love this guy as a person. So shout out to Darrington Evans. Everyone should go follow him. Everyone should go subscribe to his Twitch. Everyone should join his uh, his Discord if you are interested in, in content creation, getting into it, haven't started it yet. And I'm going to leave you off on one last thing before I, I sign off this video. One thing I learned, I'm taking courses right now with Sean Cannell um, of Think Media. If you're interested in hopping in on one of them, um, the purchase link is down below. It is affiliate link, so I would get something for it. So I'm not going to just backhand you. I mean, that would be the case. So if you're interested, check that out. But one thing that Sean Cannell always says is done is better than perfect. So if you're looking for that sign that you should start your content creation journey and you shouldn't listen to the Devin Bushes of the world that are telling you that 400 views, you're just bored, go and do it. Done is better than perfect. I love that Sean said that. I apply that. Uh, look, I want everything to be perfect. It's not going to. But it's better to have something than nothing and constantly talk about the prospect of having something. So that's what I leave you guys with. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back. We'll be doing some more live streams this week. Uh, going to be a fun week, hopefully. So, uh, you know, let's make it a good one, guys. You guys enjoy uh, the rest of your week. And if I don't see you, um, but I'll be back pretty soon. Take care and have a good night.